Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. I'm your host, ACOS, and my co-host, Andrew. And we're here trying to drive the the American spirit, the American entrepreneur. We're trying to help them out, and we're trying to give them a platform to come here and promote their products to you guys. You just heard a great inventor pitch their product, and you guys are out there busy voting. And this segment, what we like to do here, is called Selling Secrets. It's okay. kind of insider information, how to get your stuff out there, how to sell, how to get out there and, and make some money. Well, today's selling secret topic is we're going to talk about television commercials and commercials in general and infomercials. What is the difference right. between a commercial and an infomercial? The truth is there's very little difference between the two of them. The only right. difference, what I would say, between a commercial and infomercial is an infomercial has a call to action. It has a direction to buy direct to the consumer right now. Let me tell you, right. the history of this category was kind of tainted for a little while. Uh, people thought, you know, they were like, I don't know, had a sort of a lower class. Uh, no. Big companies weren't doing it. And all of a sudden, Fortune 500 companies started buying infomercial time. I was watching one time a Toyota commercial that went 30 minutes uh, extolling the greatness wow. of their cars. I've seen Volkswagen infomercials and big Fortune 500 companies are now utilizing infomercials as a platform. Now, the difference is, I always say, let's let's, let's categorize this for a second. There's three okay. different types of like like I call three different types of infomercials in today's world. There's that 30 minute commercial that you guys have all loved and seen and watched. Uh, late nights, late late is late night television or Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> you see that infomercial. Maybe it's a vacuum. Maybe it's a copper pan. Or maybe it's uh, kind of strange things like this. And, yeah, yeah, oven. Yeah, right. Grill. Grill. Yeah. And things. you kind of learn stuff from that. You know, I think the word info. Commercial yep. is information commercial, and those infomercials are usually um, uh, 28 and a half minutes long. They're not quite 30 minutes long. They're 28 and a half minutes long, and they generally have a format. They're kind of like scripted. There's a in, there's an open that usually, like the open usually is at the problem, then the problem that you this thing is going to solve, and then there's what we call pods. Like I call three pods: pod one, pod two, pod three, and at the end of every pod. Okay, there's something called a CTA, a call to action. And those CTAs, uh, in, the, in the long time ago, they used to be shorter. Today, those CTAs, I actually watched one the other day, it had a five-minute CTA, which was really call to action. It basically took five minutes to get around to what the offer is and why you should get on the telephone. Yeah. I like them a little shorter. I usually do my CTAs two, two, two minutes, two and a half minutes, because I think the customer wants more information, you know, because right. you know, when you're watching those cooking shows, actually, I know you watch those cooking infomercials, you actually you pick up some tips on there, don't you? That's right. I always, I always follow any kind of informational. I kind of look at them. I see them. I see what, what's good about them, what's bad about them. So I kind of analyze them as I see them. I'm, I'm not actually going to you know, purchase something. I'm actually doing it for information. Have you ever information. bought anything from an infomercial? Never. Me neither, actually. No. I've actually, have I buy, buy lots of stuff <laughs> off live shopping channels. I do because the deals are better. And I love their uh, flex pay. You can pay over six months right. for no interest. I love that. But, in, but I do a lot of writing of infomercials. I've actually written many of them. Over a hundred of them, I guess, in my lifetime. Uh, so that's the we call that infomercial a long form. Okay, yeah. long form. All right. Now, there's also in America short form infomercials. These are two minutes in length generally. It's the kind of stuff you see, uh, you know, in when you're watching the baseball game or a football game or something or a hockey game or yep. you're watching your favorite, uh, you know, uh, Lifetime television show or Harm Hallmark TV show. And right now the hot ones are like there's a there's a hose I see the what is it, the armor hose or the you know run over it with a car metal hose oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the kink free hose on there. That's a two minute commer- infomercial. Now commercials are different. Generally speaking, commercials are 30 seconds in length or 60 seconds in length. Sometimes they're two minutes in length, but usually they're 30 seconds or 60 seconds. This is the standard TV commercial. Now, the TV commercial is usually you pay, you pay rack rate for. This is a, this is a format where uh, you know the t- TV stations are relying on their ratings, and the ratings dictate how much they charge for that airtime. Right. Now, a TV commercial, you might be watching Blue Bloods on CB- CBS, and then you would buy Blue Bloods, and you'd buy that TV commercial, the Super Bowl, and people pay millions of dollars for those 30 yeah, second ads in the Super Bowl. Infomercials generally are auctioned off airtime. 
Right. All right. That's different. Like dead air almost. Uh, it's, this is the half hours that the TV stations can't sell, or they're having difficulty selling, or they put on the open market. They say, oh, you know what? On Saturday afternoons, we don't have programming for that. Right. It's not like we were growing up with a wild world of sports, right? Remember that? <laughs> That's right. The agony of defeat. Remember that? Remember that? Uh, the, the skier falling off the hill there? Yeah. Flying in the air, hit the agony, the thrill of victory. Yeah. yeah, they don't have programming a lot of times these Saturday afternoons. So they give up and sell that airtime to people who will buy it. And it's kind of like on the open market, the open auction. So there's kind right. of a difference between TV commercials and infomercials. One is kind of an auctioned off airtime, and one is you pay the rack rate for it. Now, you can get some good deals. I was just looking at some media. We're, we're buying uh, for a flip pan. We've just got a, we just did a huge infomercial. We're just buying the media segment of it. It's called the Diamond Flip Pan. And I've actually got quotes for half hour Saturday afternoon airtime wow. on food related networks, right, that were cheaper than the two minute spot in a weekday. Wow. I could buy 30 minutes oh, for less money than two minutes because it's the open auction, right? That's kind mm -hmm. of the difference on there. So we'll say hello to our sister. I see Lillian Campbell out there. Good morning, bros. Uh, <laughs> she's out there in the great white north, uh, actually, yeah. in northern Ontario. Welcome. That's my probably sister, Lillian now. Campbell. It's probably a little warmer. Probably the ice may, up, may, have, may or may not have melted. I'm not sure. But <laughs> this time of year, maybe there's a little fishing going on, a little open ice. <laughs> Icebergs are broken. <laughs> Icebergs are broken. <laughs> so let me tell you about a new format, okay? Because we call this the direct response television. See, digital television is different, okay? When you're watching Apple TV, um, you know, Roku TV, or maybe you're watching a CBS app, or you're watching Fox app, I mean, I've watched them both, you know. Right. What they're doing is they're selling airtime. There's commercials in those things too, but they're much shorter, okay? Yeah. They're literally 20 seconds in length. You ever watched Hulu? Ever watched Hulu TV? No, I don't. They actually have three commercials every minute, and they actually show how long, 20 seconds, then the next one starts, 20 seconds. Those are different commercials. Now, now what's happening today is guys like you who are trying to sell something yep. have less time to do it in. My son, Peter, is an analyst at one of the biggest digital advertising agencies in the world. He handles accounts like American Express and Fitbit and big, big corporate accounts. And he tells me, Dad, he goes, Dad, nothing's changed. People are still buying stuff, right? Yeah. But they're just not watching TV as long to buy it. Now, what's interesting is a lot of this digital TV advertising is stealing the customers and stealing the eyeballs from regular broadcast television. So cable TV and broadcast television and satellite TV are d diminishing while digital television is increasing. Right. So if you want to get part of the digital crowd, you're going to have to think in 20 second what we call pre-rolls. Now, you can't do a lot of selling in 20 seconds, yeah. right? You certainly can't do a CTA in 20 seconds, meaning drive them to buy because it's way too short. So you have to, what they do nowadays, they try to hook you with some really cute twist right. that drives you to a website. And then they do all their selling at you on the website. Right, right, right. It's so, kind of I mean, YouTube TV. You can yeah, see YouTube, it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So I always see that when I'm, you know, of course, when you're looking on something, you're searching something, pops up, but then all of a sudden there's a commercial, and they got 15 seconds or even a five second little little yeah. bit, and then all of a sudden it's you know you can shut the commercial off Skip or you can watch yeah. it, yeah. and then you can also say learn more. Or click on it, and then it'll go to. It'll drive you to some kind of website. Drive you to some kind of one hundred percent right. This is a very commonly used technique now. Yeah. I think even YouTube, they had pre rolls. That's when in the beginning, every time you watch a video, you see that ad. They call that a pre roll. Yeah. And sometimes when you finish a, a, a video, they have a post roll. It's way cheaper. You don't pay very much for the video at the end because almost nobody ever gets to the end. And now what they're doing, YouTube is now breaking into the video. Yes. And calling it mid roll, which yeah. is really annoying. <laughs> Here I am. I'm into. I'm into I'm watching uh, my concert. Yeah. I'm watching my. You know, I'm watching some famous concert. Yeah. And all of a sudden, after the first song, there's advertising. <laughs> like, yeah. What? How, how did this? Where did this come from? Why is so and so Why is Elton John also. allowing advertising in the middle of his YouTube <laughs> yeah. live performance? I don't think he knows. <laughs> uh, because because what they're doing is they're cutting in. That's because you know somebody has to pay for this stuff, right? So a lot of this digital TV is out in the world for free. Right. Right. So now it's not, you know even this show here. This show we, we we pay a fortune to run this show, and we need a little income to offset it. That's why the last segment that we're going to do after this segment is is called the Daily Wag, and we sell that airtime. Yeah. It's a great eight and a half minute segment. Uh, we feature an invention or a gadget or inventor in there, and we try to sell stuff in that airtime. And you also notice that we have short commercial breaks for two reasons: because we're also on radio. We have fifty three radio stations following us, yeah. and they take breaks there too. They top of the hour, bottom of the hour, they do news and stuff. 
stuff like that. So we have right. to give them that three, four minute break. So that's why when you're watching the digital TV station here, we take we take commercial breaks and we actually put ads in there that feature gadgets and commer and inventors. That's what we're doing right now. And we try to drive a little income there. So even us, we have to grab a little bit of income because it's hard to keep the lights on. We got to pay Al and Tony and everybody else and rent and we got a digital TV feeds and you know light li live stream and light cast and all that kind of stuff. It costs yeah. money uh, to stand here and do this program every day. So, so when you're an entrepreneur out there, okay, I think what you should do is I want to tell you this one sentence that's so important. Video is king. King, king, king. Yeah. I don't care if you're doing a 20-second pre-roll and you're on YouTube or Facebook or even on Amazon, that little triangle you can put up there now, or even at the end of your email stream, or whether you're investing in a 30-second or 60-second proper television commercial, which can be very, very positive. The good thing about TV right now, the rates are coming way down. So yes... People less eyeballs, but they're adjusting the price to the eyeballs. Yeah. And right now, actually, there, there's a, there's a, there's, a, uh, there's a, in the television market, there's actually a, a, a bull market, meaning that meaning that it's kind of attractive right now because the rates are so low that they're lower than they should be. So you can actually get a better return on investment today on TV than you could like 10 years ago wow. because they're fighting for every dollar. Okay, so whether you're a 30 second or 60 second commercial, or if you're doing a two minute infomercial, we're specialists at it. If you're doing a, a 28 and a half minute uh, infomercial, long form infomercial. We're specialists at it. We do it all the time. Yeah. Those can be really, really productive ways to uh, sell your product. So whether it's a 20 second pre roll or an old school overnight infomercial, <laughs> video is king, baby. And if you're not out there using video yep. to sell, that's the selling secret. Video, video, video. If you think throwing a picture up on Amazon or Facebook is actually going to be effective, good luck with that. Because you want to do video. And by the way, I must plug ourselves. If you want to, yep. us to help you with your video, all you have to do is email me at ACOS, A-K-O-S, at mycoolinventions.com. And we'll give you some quotes on your videos, help you do a video strategy, whether it's a commercial, two-minute spot, or full-fledged infomercial. There's your selling secret. Video is king.